Hello students, my name is Dr. Gazendra Purohit and you are watching our YouTube channel where I upload videos for Engineering, Mathematics, BSc. If you are preparing for any competitive exams where higher mathematics is asked, our YouTube channel is very helpful for you. So today I will be explaining you about numerical integration. We will be focusing on Simpson's 3 by 8 rule and how it is used to integrate the given data. But the answer that comes here is approximate, it is not exact. So sometimes we are asked to compare in the exam, you know, how much difference is there between the approximate answer and the exact answer. So we'll try to understand that too. So let's start. So if we have any given data here, if we have to integrate using the Simpsons 3 by 8 rule, the first rule is that whatever limits we have given here, we have to break them into multiples of 3. Now a question might arise in your mind, that break at multiples of 2 or multiples of 3 or break according to your own calculation. So how different formulas will be made? There is a Newton quotes formula which helps to form this whole concept. If we get time, we will upload another video on that to explain how this concept is formed. If we have to integrate any function or integrate the data using the Simpsons 3 by 8 rule. So what will we do here? x0 to x0 plus an h y dx is equal to 3h by 8. First term plus last term 3 into here we have this term and it is multiple of 2 into 3 and remaining terms goes here. What happens in Simpsons one third is that 2 into even term and 4 into odd term which means that 2 into multiple of 2 and the remaining terms come here. Multiple of 3 into 2 will come here. The remaining term will come here and 3 will come here. This is something that needs to be memorized. Clear? I will take an example and through it I will try to explain them. In this question it is given that use the Simpsons 3 by 8 rule. You are asked that from 4 to 5.2 log e x dx. And so in this case, what will we do? I told you that whenever we get this type of question. In the exam, you will be asked to solve this integral by Simpsons 3 by 8 rule or by one third rule, whichever you are asked. Then you should apply the formula accordingly. But if they don't say anything and just ask you to use Simpson's rule, then it's up to you. You can use anyone. But here it is said that use Simpson's 3 by 8 rule. So you have to divide this in 6 intervals. What we do to divide in intervals? Upper limit. H is equal to upper limit minus lower limit divided by what will come here? 6. So it will be 1.2 by 6 that is equal to 0 0.2. Clear? It will be 0.2 then what will we do? Here we will write x and here we will write its corresponding y. So here we will start with the lower limit, so 4, then we will add 0 0.2 to it, like 4.2, 4 4.4, 4.6, 4.8. 4, 4, 4 this will be 5.0, right? And next will be 5.2. It will come according to this, here we have its corresponding, they are y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and y6. Here what will be the value of y0? The function y that we have it is log x, right? Here the value of y will be log ex. So where there is x, when we will put it there, this will come as log e4. And whatever will be its value, like here, its value is given as. It will be 1.3862, right? This will be ln whenever you have log base e, then in the calculator you need to use ln, right? Students sometimes make mistake here. So this is how it will come here. Now this is log 4.2 and its value will be 1.4350. This is the value we will get. Okay. In the same way we will talk about log 4.4, right? The value that we are getting here is 1.4816. Similarly, we will get log 4.6 and the value of this will come as 1.5260. Here also this will be log. 4.8 is equal to. Here the value that will come, it will be 1.5686 and similarly we will write. Log 5, so this value we will get will be 1.6094 in the same way. Here we will write log 5.2 is equal to, so from here the value that we will get will be 1.6486. So this is how we do it. Is it clear? Whenever we use this formula, what is the formula? Pay attention. The formula that we have, like here it has been given as from 4 to 5.2 and here it will be y dx. So the formula we have here is 3h by 8. Uh, the first term plus the last term. And lastly, what will we do here? 2 into multiple of 3. In multiple of 3, you'll get y3 and y6, but y6 is already written now. We are doing 3 into remaining terms. The remaining terms we have are y1, y2, y4, and last we have is y5, right? 
So, this will come and here what we have is its formula. In this, the value of h that we have is 0.2. So, this will be 3 into 0 0.2 divided by 8. Listen, the value of this y0, we have it given as 1.3862 plus y6. Here it is given as 1.6486 and here it will be plus. Here I am writing plus 3 into y1. The value of y1 is given as 1.4350 plus y2 is 1.4816 plus. Next we have is y4 that we got is 1.5686 plus value of y5 is 1.6094. We will keep this here plus we will keep 2 into y3 here. Value of y3 will be 1.5260. Find the value of all these. You have to calculate the value of this using a calculator. The answer we will get will be 1.8278. Here we will get the value. This way we can easily solve it, right? So let's move to the next question and by the way you can see the solution here. Before that I want to tell you that if you are preparing for CSIR NetGate or if you are preparing for IIT Jam, then our books are available on Amazon and Flipkart. You can buy them. See the next question we have, it is saying that 0 to 6 dx 1 plus x square is given to you. So here we have to use Simpson's 3 by 8 rule. So we will calculate the value of h, upper limit minus lower limit divided by 6. It will be 1. Then the same thing, first we will start with x 0. We will start with 0. Then here we will keep adding 1 to each right. So here we will have this x2, it is x3, this x4, x5 and here this x6, right? And its corresponding will be this 0. The y we will get here is 1 upon 1 plus x square, right? This will be its value. So wherever you have x, put 0 there, so that would be this. Then we will put 1, so it would be 1 upon 1 plus 0 square, 1 plus 1, plus 1 square, so it will be 0.5, right? We will put it here, so 1 upon 1 plus 2 square is 4, so this will be 0.2. In this way, these values here, they will keep coming like this, so what will we get here? We will get y0, y1, then y2, y3, and y4, y5, and y6. So like this, we will have its value here. Now we will use the formula. So here we will get 0 to 6 and dx upon 1 plus x square. Now the formula here will be 3h by 8, first term plus last term. Plus, students will write this later. First, let's deal with this here, okay? Let's find this first, then we will do it later. Okay, so 3 into, sorry. 2 into here, we will have multiple term of 3. 1 is y3, y6 is taken by us. Now, we will write the remaining terms here. It will be 3 into y1, then y2. Next is y4 and last y5. So, it will be the value, right? We know the value of h here. It is 1. So, 3 by 8. Now, students, y0. We have y0 as 1 and y6 will be 0 0.0270. Right, students? And plus 3 into y1, the value we have is 0 0.5. And the value of y2 that we have is 0 0.2. The value of y4 is 0 0.058, just a minute students. 82 and the value of y5 which has been given to us is what here? 0 0.03846, okay? And here it will be 2 into y3 and the value of y3 which is given to us is 0 0.1. And here what will we get? Its value. So we will solve this with the help of calculator. Then the answer we will get will be 1.3571. This is the value of its integration. So we can do this in this manner. Sometimes the exam may ask you about error. So this value we got here will be the approximate value, right? This is the approximate value of this. Now what are we going to do? We will calculate its exact value. If suppose you are asked about the error, then we'll do its integration originally. So it will be 1 plus x square. Here we will get tan inverse x. At this place it will be 0 to 6. So from here we will have the value as tan inverse 6 minus tan inverse 0. So we will solve this tan inverse here. So here we will get tan inverse 6. So its value will be 1.4056. So what is this? This is its value. Now sometimes they may ask you about the error. Then what will we do? So we will take the exact value that we got here and we will put modulus outside. We will find minus 1.3571, okay? And if we take its modulus here, then the value which we will get will be 0 0.04854. So this will be the error. So we can also do it like this. If they ask this in the question, then you have to do it like this. Clear students? This question is for the comment box. How long did it take you to solve it? Please comment. If you want to see the entire playlist of numerical analysis, then all the videos are uploaded here. You can check them if you are preparing for CSIR NetGet or IIT JAM exam. 
we are practicing some questions based on them that series is uploaded here you can go and check it you can subscribe to the channel here thank you so much bye bye